So now we talk about how can we actually iterate over a list? How can we actually access the elements of a list at once? Okay, using a iterator, using a loop. Okay, so let's talk about it. Iterating means nothing but looping. Okay, so iterating over a list. Okay. How can we loop over a list? How can we access all the elements using iteration? Now there are these approaches but the most famous two approaches are that we're going to be talking about and i'll also tell you which to use well okay the first one is the direct access okay. first one a one is directly accessing or directly iterating for the elements Okay, what do I mean by that? Suppose I give you a list okay, 4, 7, 4.6, and 3. Okay. What you have to do is you, if you remember the syntax of for loop for i in range, and that range you list internally, right? I'll, I'll just give you a very quick recap. Okay, what do we should do for i in range, let's say 4. Okay, print i. So we know that this range for you to create a list internally from all the elements 0 to 4 exactly the same way here it is already a list and you simply have to iterate over it so what will you do perfect you will simply say for i or for element any variable you can use i j element okay for element in a okay print element that's it so automatically it will pick one element Print it second element, third element, fourth element, like that. Okay. So this is one way you can access the elements of a list. Okay, way one. Now way two is using indexing. Way two is using index or indexing. Okay. Now what is this? As you know that this is k of zero. A of 1, A of 2, A of 3. Okay, so basically what you're doing, you're printing A of 0. And A of 1, like this. Okay, and A of 2, A of 3, A of 4. Okay. As you can see, only the index is changing. And what is index ranging from? From 0 to n minus 1, right? So you can do the exact same logic. So what you can do is, what you can do is, You can first find the number of elements in the list, the length of it. And then you can simply say for i in range n. Okay, but if you print i, it will actually print indexes from 0 to 3 because n is of length 4, right? Uh, length a is of length 4. So instead of printing a, you have to print a of n. Understood? Because the index is the variable 1, 2, 3, 0, like that. So if you simply do this, Ta -da! This is another way to access the elements or to iterate the elements of the list. Okay. Now both are useful in their own ways. Okay. When we are dealing with indexes, we will use this. But when there is no hard and fast rule about using indexing, okay, when there is only about when we are only dealing about the elements, we'll make use of this approach. But this will come with practice. Okay. There is no hard and fast rule. There is no or there is nothing to be memorized here. So this will come with practice and that's what you need to wait for. Okay. So both are correct, both are useful and we'll understand which we use when, when we do questions. Thank you.